community I have known this long has, has changed so so much within that time. And um, basically, the people here, most of the people here, haven't known Matthew as long as I have. And a lot of them have only known him for the last couple of years. Um, so I'm going to take you on a wee journey through. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to take a step. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this short as well because there's a rugby game coming on very soon. Do you want to challenge me? Good chance. Yeah, so when I, when I first met Matthew when we were 11, um, Matthew was this very quiet, very, you know. A little bit of a chubby wee man. Alright, alright. I grew into this later in life. <laughs> Basically, so Matthew Mark, was he was very quiet. Yeah, yeah, we we had well, we were good friends well, back then because there wasn't so many of us around at that time, so we didn't have much. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> but then Matthew started growing, and when I say growing, Matthew started growing. And to be honest, I, if, if I was eating your food every single day, I probably would have grown with him. <laughs> so Matthew, and he, he touched on it already, I, I gave him a bit of a nasty nickname, and it was his patchy boy. And it was his patchy Yeah. I'm sorry, Matthew. I apologize. And it kind, of, it kind of stuck around for a while, because I don't know if any of you have seen pictures, because I haven't seen any in a long time. I think they may have been like... Um, Destroyed. Um, Matthew grew quite large, um, which was. But so yes, but it's not just it's not just that Matthew also had this mop of uh, mop mm, this afro. <laughs> there was a mop of curly hair, and he was just. The strangest person. I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, he was. Uh, that was that was that was an early change of Matthew. And then Matthew decided to use all that bulk, and he became Muscle Man. <laughs> muscle Man decided he was. Uh, he, he, started, he started pumping iron pretty pretty freaking hard. Right? <laughs> and he, uh, he was like, as a sixteen year old boy, he was going off to this. Uh, this gym in Perth called Scorpios, I don't know if anyone knows that. Jesus, I mean, I wouldn't touch any of the people that went in there. <laughs> so Muscle Matt came along and uh, he blew our minds away because Matthew got really into it. So I started taking this whey protein. At 16 years old, all I really wanted to do was play computer games and drink. <laughs> but I still be old. <laughs> So yeah, so then, Matthew, then that was pretty much Matthew until he left school, um, and he started skinning down, and he started doing his cardio work, you know, becoming this fitness kind of body. That was that kind of went against everything I ever believed in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so when we got to university, eventually, I mean, I, I, I mean, I was a, I was a very good friend with Alex, uh, probably more so than I was with Matthew while we were at school. And, um, but when we got to university, that's when the friendship started properly cementing, you know. Matthew turned into party man. I, mean, yeah, I like party man. <laughs> we had some pretty high times. It was, yeah. <laughs> um, we, were pretty, we, we had a pretty good time in first year, especially he lived in this place called Claude Gibb, which was... Which was pretty awesome, um, and basically it was it was in that it was in that year that I actually made some pretty terrible decisions in my life that led to some pretty like bad times for me. And Matthew was the one man that actually stepped up and uh, well he didn't need to he just didn't have any obligation to to do, but he stepped up and he uh, he, he made some big inroads for me and I, I honestly wouldn't be the same person I am today. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, <laughs> if it wasn't for Matthew. And, uh, like, I owe him a lot more than he will ever think that I do. Um, <laughs> so, um, so basically, yeah, university is awesome. <laughs> he got a degree, I didn't. <laughs> more awesome for me. Yeah, 
And then toward, towards the second year, we tried to get into it, and then there was this mysterious person that I heard, Haley, you know, but who's this Haley? And it took a long time out of time. Didn't, didn't meet Haley for a long time. I, I thought she was made up. <laughs> and coming back from like, Scotland with all these stories about this girl, you know, she's fantastic, all this stuff. Eventually, eventually, I got to meet her. I think it was on, on your birthday, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were playing some we were playing some beer pong. Yeah. 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 Eurovision. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Head over here, pretty much done. And um, it's understandable, obviously. <laughs> um, and so yeah, so then we started. I, I finished up with my my uni, which wasn't really uni, but um, <laughs> I finished up with what I called uni. Three years of my life where I I'd lived in a different place. <laughs> and uh, I came back up north, and I mean it was great. I I came up and. I met all these uh, th these rugby lads, which I didn't really know. I knew, knew a few of them. They were probably the worst ones. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and it was great. I mean, bring bring Richie and bring Charlie and, uh, and Matthew into the, into the rugby club circle was the best thing I could have ever done. And it was it was like bringing my other side of my life into into Blackgarry Rugby Club. And fantastic. That's <laughs> <laughs> some great times at the rugby club. Um, yeah, oh, you're yeah. the godfather. So yeah, so basically, Matthew and Cheesy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 Cheesy's I'm, met. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was Cheesy G before. I'm the first Cheesy G. Sorry, Cheesy Smith. Um, <laughs> Cheddar Smith. <laughs> I don't know where to go now. I kind of ran out of ideas. <laughs> but basically, I would, I would, I would love to offer a toast to, uh, to the bride and the groom this time. Oh. Um, Mr. and Mrs. <laughs>